Hi and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio and in this video we're going to have a look at the restore process of Acronis True Image Online Backup. And we're not only going to see whether uh, Acronis restores our data correctly that we backed up previously, we're also going to explore Acronis sharing features where you can share um, data that you backed up online previously with Acronis. So, um, Let's start initiating our restore with a click on recover. You can recover um, your whole backup, meaning all the files that you backed up. In our case, it's just one gigabyte because it's uh, our test folder and we're comparing the, the download and upload speed of the backup providers here. And you can, for example, select a folder where you want to restore your uh, data. And for the purposes of this video, we're just going to call it Acronis Recover and save it over there and see how fast it actually recovers our data. Obviously, you can also um, download and, and recover individual files. For example, when you are working on an important project and your PC crashed and you need this file urgently, then just right click on a file and download that accordingly. So you don't have to, if you have like a backup of 200 gigabyte, you don't have to download the 200 gigabyte of files to actually get to work again on your project. And well, as we can see here, the recover, the download process is actually quite slow. So we're working here with six megabits per second. This is not that fast. I mean, I, I am behind a 100 megabit line here, so it should be a lot faster. And I can only blame that on um, Acronis uh, servers that don't serve the files that quickly. And um, we're going to accelerate the video here a little bit and see how long it's going to take to back up um, all our files. It says time remaining one hour and 20 minutes. And I think this is a good estimation here. So uh, we'll see. OK, so we are back and we have recovered our file successfully, but it took actually exactly one hour. And um, sincerely, this is a little too much. I had other online backup services that that recovered the data in about 10 minutes or so. And the thing is, you want your data fast. So it is important that a Cronus service serves your files uh, quickly. Well, but the most important part is whether the files are actually intact and whether we can access them correctly. So let's go just into our uh, test folder here. Where we restored it in cloud backuping and here we have the Acronis recover file. And we can see that the restore process has been done correctly and I can browse and access all the files I backed up. And um, this is quite relieving because if you have an emergency, then you need your files fast and you need them um, correctly. So, uh, so apart from being a little slow, Acronis True Image Online secured and recovered our data correctly. And um, this is actually what an online backup service should do. This is the most important part. Your files need to be intact. And now we're going to test um, the web client. And within the web client, you can share the files with friends or family or colleagues that you backed up previously. So if you have a file that is too big for an email attachment, you can easily use the uh, Acronis online web client to uh, create a link for the person that you want to send the file to. OK, so when you are in um, the true image uh, web client, you click on recover my data now at the top right and then you access, you can access your data from within the client. You can see here is your machine, the machine that we called previously Mauricio VM because I'm working on a virtual machine here in the virtual windows and it loads your files. And after loading the files or before loading the files, you need to insert your private encryption key that you um, selected in the installation process. And here we are, here's our file system and we can now dig a little deeper into the files and select one that we might want to share with a friend or with a colleague. So when we have found a file, you can either recover that file or you can say create a public link. And here you get a public URL that you can share with your friends. What I'm missing here, though, is that I cannot um, specify a maximum download amount. For example, I want the file to be downloaded max two, three, four, five times. And I can't either set a uh, 
a date when this link is going to be disabled. So these are functions that I would wish for the for an up upgrade here, which are pretty important. I can, however, disable the link later on in the shared link manager. But I think this is a very useful feature, and I think every major online backup service should uh, incorporate that into their um, into their system. So you can manage your sharings with a click on my sharing. And here you can see the link that we shared with another person. And obviously you can now click and disable that link if you don't want that file to be shared any longer. So I hope I could give you a little insight into Acronis online backup. And uh, I hope I made the decision a little easier whether Acronis online backup is something for you. If you like this video, please give it your like on YouTube or recommend it to your friends and family on Facebook. And also, I would like to hear a comment. If you have a question, I'll be more than glad to get back to you. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.